Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode in my third CSS mini-series. Now in this mini-series we will be covering animations in CSS <clears throat> and up until now most of our CSS has been fairly static uh, and if you look at a lot of websites you have you know at least some subtle animation or some websites have crazy animations but overall it's a general like consensus that animation at least like you know a, applied in a good way can add a lot to a website. Um, so yeah, like that that's basically what we'd be covering in this mini-series. Now, as always, I'm going to start off this first episode by uh, showing how to set up our development environment. Um, I will leave chapters in the video, so if you want to skip that, go ahead and skip straight to the animations introduction section. So we're going to start off by going to Google and searching up VS Code, clicking on this download link, and of course clicking on the link that's applicable to your computer. Um, and then you'll get this VS Code user setup, and then you want to go ahead and run that. And once you finish running uh, VS Code setup, you will get a program that looks somewhat like this. Um, it will look probably somewhat like this, uh, minus this left little panel here. And you're going to go ahead and start off by hitting File, Open Folder, and then opening up the folder that is applicable that you want to kind of store your code in. It could be any folder. You could make a new one or anything like that. Um, and then once you're done with that, <clears throat> you want to go ahead and, um, and whoops, <laughs> I literally just copied this. Um, you want to go ahead and start installing your extensions. So click on these little three dots here and then type in HTML, CSS, support. And then there will be, like, if I click on this, there's this green install button. It'll be on here too, but I already have this installed. So go ahead and click on the green install button for HTML, CSS, support. Then you can search up live server like this. Um, and again, there will be a, a green install button. And then finally, if you go and search up auto rename tag, um, it will, you know, either one actually, because I'm looking, this one doesn't have as great ratings. I've never had a problem with this one, but yeah, auto rename tag in green install, or you can install this one. Um, but yeah, once you have all that finished, we can go ahead and check off um, all of these. Oops. Okay, um, yeah, so now that we have our development environment set up, remember I wanted you to go file, open folder, and then you should actually see an empty folder in here. There will be none of these because these are just my tutorial series that I've been making. But if you want, again, you can click this new folder button and create another folder, and that's what will create one of these. And then once you're inside that folder, you can click on this button, this new file button, and then go ahead and name it index.html. And once you have that, you have a basic HTML website. Now, again, for these uh, series, I am assuming you have basic HTML and CSS knowledge, so I will be kind of speeding through this beginning of HTML. We're going to create an Emmet abbreviation. Um, and if you do not happen to have that knowledge, you can check out my Intro to Web Development tutorial series, which is on my channel. Um, so yeah, once you have this uh, template here, we want to link our CSS and then actually create the CSS file as well. And once we have that, let's go ahead. And for our first introduction, we are going to um, create a simple text, um, an H1 that says, Hello World, of course. Um, and we're going to hit our go live since we have our live server installed. And now that we have this hello world here, um, we are going to give it some styles. So let's just select the H1 in our CSS and give it a color of red. And um, yeah, color of red works as long as it's not too bright on the screen. Um, and let's just give it a, let me think, uh, let's give it a text decoration of none. So yeah, we've got a red hello world here, and let's use a pseudo selector. Um, a good pseudo selector is um, click, so on, uh, or wait, uh, hover, so hover is one, let me, let me look up some good CSS pseudo um, selectors. So these are called CSS pseudo classes, and they mean um, basically to select something when a kind of event occurs. So for example, this selector here is saying uh, these styles will be applied on our H1 when our mouse hovers over them. Uh, and like there's active for links, visited, 
and I'm trying to see if there's anything else besides hover. I guess not. Okay, so we'll just stick with hover. So basically when our uh, H1 is hovered over, we can change the color to blue and we can change the text decoration to underline, for example, and look what happens. If I hover over this thing, it changes instantly. Now the first kind of introduction to CSS animation is using a property called transition. Now when we use the transition property, it generally takes two things. It takes a, um, and do not use these single quotes, I'm just using them for demonstration. It takes a property to transition and a time slash duration. So for, oh, duration. So for example, we could take a property called color, because remember we are setting the color here and here. And we could transition the property color over, or the color property over one S, which is one second. And if I save this, notice, notice when I hover over, the underline will be applied immediately, but the, the um, color takes a second to transition, which normally a standard value is 0.5 or 0.3. You know, it's generally lower, so you'll have it quickly transition like that, or even, you know, 0.3 seconds for a quick transition. Now, um, we can actually transition the text decoration as well, like this. Um, although, wait, I, I think I'm going to have to surround this in quotes like that. Yeah, so actually, um, let's change this to one second as well to show the, the transition. Um, although, actually, is there a way? Um, CSS transition text decoration. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, I guess, never mind. Um, a text decoration underline can't be transitioned, I realize, because it doesn't make sense in CSS. Let's just go ahead and change our font size. So font size is 20 pixels, and let's make the font size uh, 10 pixels here. So, uh, or let's triple everything, 40 pixels, and then let's make it like 80 pixels. Right, so now when we hover over, notice that the size of the hello world gets really big. So instead, we could actually transition the um, font dash size. Oops. And when we do that now, the font size gets bigger over the course of a second. And of course, we could change the spec to 0 0.3. And if we actually want to transition both, we can put either put a comma between them, like that, um, which will, uh, or, or my bad, um, we could say font size 0 0.3, and we could put color 0 0.3 and that will transition both um, but we could also just do something called all 0 0.3 and that will transition all properties so color and size so yeah that was just our basic introduction to CSS animation uh, if you want to see this series as it kind of comes along there are quite a few topics in this subdomain of CSS I'll be uploading daily into the playlist which is linked in the description if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications whenever I post new videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.